Hey there, fellows. Okay, we've got a good one in store for this episode. One that we pulled out from the suggestion box. So we did a video where we replaced the CV joints on a front-wheel drive car with unis. Everything worked just fine when driving straight, but in the turns they were binding. Because they couldn't give us the angles we needed. Anyway, so we got a million suggestions for possible alternatives, but a couple of people thought it'd be a good idea to go a different route entirely and proposed a solution, well, instead of a CV joint or a uni, we'll be using wire rope for this one. It's pretty soft and pliable, and it should even do a decent enough job of transferring the torque. Here I've got some rope. It's 26 mil, and it should work beautifully with how thick it is. I mean, it is pretty substantial. And so now it's all just a matter of removing the axle shafts, pulling the spline section off, connecting it to the rope somehow, then piecing the whole thing together, as in fitting everything to a car, and finally testing the whole thing. All right, let's make us some bendy axle shafts. Let's do this. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellas, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. Making axle shafts from wire rope, will they work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check it out, guys. We've made some soft, flexible, and hot as hell axle shafts. So this flexes, everything is good, but we did have to tweak them a bit. Because of how these ropes are woven, when fitting these to the car, you've got a situation when driving forward, one of them winds up while the other unwinds, and obviously when backing up, it's gonna be the opposite situation. The one that wound up is gonna unwind, and vice versa. And in order to prevent that, we've made them braided. We took some wire and just wrapped it around them. I think it should work okay. Now we get to installing them, which will be followed by... Correct, a test drive. Okay, time to carry on. Okay, we've got everything assembled, it's all good. The flexible axle shafts are in place. Now it's time to start the car and head on out. Now I should point out that... The ropes are obviously going to bend... when the wheels turn. No surprise there. Now my thought is that when letting go of the wheel... they'll want to try and straighten themselves out. There's obviously some tension... So I suspect they're gonna want to do that. Which might increase the resistance on the steering wheel. We'll see if that's true. As soon as I try setting off, I'll know what's up. 
Slap, slap. It started happily, look at that. It's holding idle. Time to drive. It is moving. What is that noise? What's happening? What's that slapping noise? Is something popping out? That one is bending. That one is bending? Why so? I made them as close to identical as I could. But this one is still bending. Like a pigtail. Oh yeah? Well, it does drive. Okay, it's not anymore. What the hell? Okay, let's try reversing. Backing up. No, oh, now it's alright? That one is good. No, I mean it drives okay. Without any snapping. And without popping out. That's weird. Now how can that be? Yeah, I know. Because it's turning the other way. Well, I'll be. It reverses all right, though. So here's the situation. You said it's turning over at the splines? Okay, so it bends, pops out, and then slips back in? Terrific. We're crying out loud. That one's doing it, too. Oh, it is, really? You should back the car out. Yeah, it's reversing perfectly fine. Which is surprising, why is it doing that? It reverses fine, but doesn't want to drive forward. Perhaps take them apart? And it popped out. Oh, come on. Popped out? Yes, it did. We are moving. The car drives. And that is good. What's that noise? Come on, turn. Are we done? Really? That does it for this drive. Let's see what the cause of that is. Well, guys, look at what happened. Failure after barely driving a couple of meters. The shafts... they've torn away. From the inner joints. The flanges we made and then inserted the ropes into. We pinched them on the hydraulic press, wrapped the wires onto them after that, and the problem is... these don't change their length. We don't have a sliding connection anywhere in there. As a result, they've been ripped out. 
But we do have another idea. We'll go look for a pipe of the right diameter, because the cable in this area has come undone beyond the point of saving. But no worries, we'll just cut that bit off, slide the pipe onto the rope, pinch it, weld to the flange, and after that, ideally we need for there to be a sliding connection. The outer CV joints do have splines on them, we'll just leave the bearing loose. I don't see it falling apart immediately. So yeah, loosen the nuts to provide a bit of movement. And try again. It's not like we have any other options. Okay, let's reconfigure the whole thing and go for another drive. Okay, round two. Let's go. It has to be drivable now, right? We're moving, that's a good start. But I can hear a slapping noise. What could that be? We just can't get past a certain point. It refuses to drive as soon as I get to the gate. Why won't it go any further? What's happening? Excuse me? Is something broken again? Yeah, it unraveled. Right, I see. Things are pretty bad. I am genuinely disappointed. And so, at the end of the day... These are under tremendous load, even despite the fact that I was being very gentle with them, to try to ease the stress. Nonetheless, the side that would be prone to unraveling does so. And that's a shame. We failed. Well, at the very least, we've definitively proven that you cannot use wire rope to make flexible axle shafts. I mean, you could, of course, argue that cross-woven cables would have done better. But I've honestly never seen them in this diameter. I know that you can get really thin ones, but a 26 mil like the one we have? Never seen them before. Not even aware that they exist. Well, so there you have it, guys. They worked up until a point, but we reached that point way too quickly. But hey, what can you do? An experiment's an experiment. You saw it all with your own eyes, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.